In this episode of the Online Classroom, we'll look at concept generation in the system's approach to a straightforward problem, keeping a lawn neat. Concept generation is really a structured way of brainstorming. It is usually conducted after a clear requirements analysis is undertaken, uh, but in this course we're asking you to come up with three ideas early so that you can apply the systems engineering tools to your group project as we go. Uh, but it might be worthwhile going back to the concept generation process once you have a clear idea of what those requirements are. Remember the design requirements we came across in the customer requirements online classroom. We're going to use these as a base to come up with the ideas for our concept generation. Let's consider the first customer requirement uh, and then the first design requirement that came from that, which was effective cutting mechanism. So obviously there are a number of ways that this could be done. Let's have a quick brainstorming session to find out uh, what might be most appropriate. Uh, so keep in mind, we're just looking at the cutting mechanism. The first idea is a standard blade from a normal lawnmower. Note that I'm not being too specific about the width or the size, because really at this stage we're just trying to establish different types of concepts. The second idea is a barrel type blade, which you often see in push style lawnmowers. Push style lawnmowers are obviously a lot more difficult to, to maneuver, but they might actually satisfy the noise requirement better than any other idea. So remember we're having a brainstorming session, so all ideas are on the table. Perhaps you could cut the grass with some scissors in a scissor style blade. Uh, or you could use the rotating wires or cord that you often see in some sort of whippersnipper. Or perhaps you could use some sort of swinging blade like this scythe, although it might be very difficult to get really nice short grass using this blade. Or perhaps some sort of oscillating blade like you find on hedge cutters. Or you could use a saw style blade like you might find on some brush cutters. Uh, or perhaps you could bring some sort of laser cutting device into the lawnmower market. Or looking at the problem a bit more holistically, perhaps there's some sort of chemical retardant that we can put on the grass that might keep the grass from growing long enough so that we ever need to cut it. So remember it's a brainstorming session so everything's out there. Uh, perhaps you could use some sort of flame thrower device to keep the grass nice and short but perhaps this one might not meet some of those safety requirements that uh, the customer specified earlier. And this one doesn't quite satisfy the uh, cutting mechanism requirement, but perhaps we should look at synthetic grass or some sort of synthetic application. Uh, perhaps this might solve our problem in not having to cut the grass at all. So once you've completed your brainstorming session, and this is probably a good idea to do this in a group because you'll end up with more ideas, uh, you could start to classify these solutions into different concept classes. And I'll go through most of the ones I presented earlier in this format. So the first one is the spinning classification, uh, the slicing classification. So these are like the scissor options the laser option so this is actually an individual option rather than being a class because it obviously doesn't fit into the spinning or slicing uh, having said that it could be some sort of spinning laser but i think it lives in a different class than the other options that are in the spinning class uh, and then you have the chemical class and this class you might actually want to leave out because it doesn't actually address the uh, cutting mechanism problem that we're looking at uh, but I've decided to leave it here just for the demonstration purposes. And likewise, the synthetic grass might not be appropriate to be in the cutting mechanism classification tree, uh, but it'll get dropped pretty early because it doesn't address the problem that this tree is trying to solve. So expanding the spinning class into the actual items that I came up with in my brainstorming session, we have the flat blade, the barrel, the saw, and a wire cutter. And for the slicing classification, we have the scissors, the swinging blade, and the oscillating blade. At this stage, it might be difficult to see which idea might be best because we haven't fully considered the problem yet. However, it's pretty easy to have a quick look at what ideas might work better than the others. 
So if we look at our first design requirement, which was effective cutting, uh, the flat blade barrel and wire cutter might present better options, likewise the laser, but I really don't know too much about that at this stage. Uh, and the saw scissors swinging and oscillating might be a bit more difficult to get an effective cut, uh, mainly because of the difficulties in what I envisage might be the way that it gets applied to the product. Uh, but then if you have a look at safe, the flat blade, barrel, scissors and oscillating might be better options. The saw, wire, cutter, swinging and laser might not be safe. But this also brings in some ideas around what I've seen in previous products. Like the flat blade is not necessarily safe if it doesn't have a, a hard shell that it lives within. So perhaps I'm bringing some bias in, in that observation. Uh, so that really wraps up the key ideas for concept generation. Uh, the classification tree is a really useful process to go through. Remember when you are brainstorming to put all of your ideas on the table because you don't want to leave out something that could actually make a big difference to your product. You should relate back to the customer requirements and in this process it might be a bit difficult because concept generation usually happens when you have a much better idea of the problem. So that wraps up the concept generation online classroom. Make sure you check out the reading for this topic. It goes through concept generation for a nail gun and don't forget to do the self-test. Thanks for listening.